guys, welcome back. Uh, if you hear any strange noises, it's probably just me drinking water or something outside because I've got windows open. It is boiling hot in here. So, um, plans for today, I'm going to sort out my smithy slash forging area. I gathered all the bits for it. Uh, well, I hope I gathered all the bits. Some designs may change, but you know what? We'll see how we go. I have no plans of how what this is going to turn out like. I'm just going to go with the flow. So let's get cracking. Okay, here we are. I've used up the two gates that I found. Oh, sorry, that was a marker for my, uh, one of my cam. Well, how to make my cam. So, I'm blabbering. Right, so I managed to get my pounder frame and axles. Let's move this now. I'm no longer using it for a frame. Now, it's a little bit compact in here. I don't know. I mean, I can get round here quite easily. And if I want to, I can just move this. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's move this somewhere like... Just there. And we can get that out of the corner. I'm talking about that. Uh, I don't like that either. I've uh, got some frames, hit, um, mold frames there. I've got some more over here. Just whack that there for a moment. Yeah. Okay, that would do. Yeah. So I can have my um, ingot molds when I make some more round here. And just line them up these are for obviously pit um pit kilns thought i might as well uh, make a spot for them here i used up my iron bars that i found in a room just because yeah so i haven't really done much up here other than add that so not too bad um, I'm not entirely certain if I need to add another clutch system or if I can just um, disconnect this. I'll probably just do like that and just whack this there. I don't know why that's on that, but whatever. Um, I changed this up from the time um, time lapse. So it looks a little bit more even, more central. Got a decent amount of light in. I want to get more um, aged torch holders. So yeah. I haven't done the ceiling at all because I just don't know what I want to do for the ceiling. I may just leave it. I've been transferring some of that so I'll do that behind the scenes. But yeah, this looks way, way better than what I had it before. These gaps can obviously have more chests in them or crates, that stuff. Future, I just didn't have enough. I need enough of those, so. But that's okay. That is okay. Okay. What next? <laughs> um, I've been doing a little bit too much. Oh, I'm building right now. That was a bit of a plava. Um, I run out of all. Do I have pounder cap? I do have pounder caps, but I don't think I have pounders. 
yeah so and I've also done these bits in between episodes done that a bit so that's looking good uh, yeah it'll be in here huh okay maybe not ah there they are right I was dying dying level was nigh I was making dies. Oh, no, not you, Cinnabals. Do I need... Get lost. That's black die, so... It's not too bad. And I've got one le white lever, so I might as well leave that. I need to get my lever. I made a ton of lever before beforehand where have I plonked it all probably in my animal's chest uh yeah here we are oh chugging a bit we only really need one piece of leather and I don't really want to use up my dye and Yeah, I used the um, green pet. Uh, sorry, this is class blue, but this looks green to me. Okay, well, I got that from a trader, so that looks pretty nice. Don't I need to sort that out? Need to sort this out. Kitchen still looks good. Why isn't this one? Oh, it's probably over there. It's probably. Would you get lost? Uh huh. Uh. Yeah, no one cares. Pens up. Basically, I went searching out for limestone, couldn't find it, and I'm currently sick of it. Looking for stuffs. Uh, I need to expand my farm soon. So I reckon it would be a good idea to start, yeah, I think taking this down, expanding it this way. So, okay, uh, I've just cleared like the side bit and then I'm going to go up and flatten that off. I don't want to level it completely simply because um, I kind of want to keep the terrain I think I said this before. Um, up here is not going to be massive, but as you can see, if I've added like a lot of medium fertility soil there, I think I may have to widen it. I'm not entirely certain. I'm going to add some blocks and cobblestones for walls. Uh, kind of match with the other farm. I kind of want a waterfall here. But there isn't really one over here. I mean, I think there's one over here. Yeah, but just that's just too far. So I'm going to actually have to make one. This looks a bit... Yeah, just back. I think here will do. So, yeah, I'm just going to... Mm, yeah. I'm going to make the channel for the waterfall. See how we go until this pick goes. Pick? Shovel. And there it goes. <laughs> right. Right, so I've done that. I'm just going to put in some blocks around the edge. I'm going to try to keep it random, like a ashlar blocks, cobblestone make the cobble look like it's just been placed there to replace the um, ashlar blocks you know the stone bricky types and i'm just gonna have some fun with it and just scattering them about it's gonna look messy at the beginning but that's okay all right so now i've got the peridot i'm gonna actually use my granite because i've got quite a bit of granite cobblestone here um 
got a good few slabs so I can make some ash blocks and lots of mortar so I can kind of mix and match it. I've been I'm in an R in with the sign so far, but I'm just going with the flow now. I'm just going to outline it first because I have no idea where I want this to end because I could easily wall up the entire mountain at this point and I don't really want to do that I just want to keep the uh, farm farm uh, what am I doing what? yeah I'm just oh, I've lost my brain <laughs> Yeah, I think this bit is going to, yeah, get wider. I don't, I think it needs to be bigger. No. Oh, I was so close. Don't you hate that? When you're just like a few blocks off from finishing. I do like how the other one blends in but I want this one to stand out a little bit more I don't know whether or not I should go back to the other one and match it completely or I should leave it I think I will leave it for a while and if I want to I'll add some granite here and then if I like it I'll put it in but if not I'm just keeping these block placements as kind of randomish, but in a random common sense sort of way, if that makes sense. No, that doesn't make sense. Okay, that, see, like, over here doesn't... So it doesn't blend in as much as that one, but it's in keeping with the same kind of style. Um, with going with the terrain. So this this upper section is actually quite small. But it's quite nice, it's quite decorative. Good grief, that really needs to get sorted. Anywho. So instead of utilising another waterfall, I've just created one, and I can, and it gets bigger, round here, I haven't hoed all this but I wrapped my copper hoe died, and this is all going to be farmland eventually. This is all frozen over. It follows the bottom of the other one. So it goes round and then... So it goes round here. And then all the way up there. And then down again. And through here, which is a kind of pot pond area. So, yeah. Uh, I didn't want to add too much up to that point got plenty of gates about so I can skip bits I've added some stone paths because I have plenty of stones I'm gonna delete that because it's not that bit yeah we, we don't need to see that bit yeah so that there it is I've I've done quite a lot this episode for me anyway I'm, I'm quite a slow player I and I keep squirreling quite a lot that's how I enjoy I don't tend to plan things the last time I planned something and actually did it I really hated the process I really did so I like the randomness how I play because otherwise I just can't keep focused so I'm thinking for the rest before 
we hit into April, I'm going to finish the tops here. But I'm not going to show you that part. I'm just going to do it and then show you the results. Because it's pretty much the same deal as we got down here. And I don't know about you, but watching repeats is kind of boring. Well, kind of repeated the farm, didn't we? But that's a di different shape. But it's literally just probably copying that to up there. And then I'll, I'll show you the very tops of the ceiling. And then I'm going to start gathering up some bits for more um, mechanical stuffs. I am, however, going to feed my animals. I haven't checked up on them for a while. And I've got plenty of grain to do. So, so. Totally lots. Because now we've got some chicks. Guys, move out of my way. Out of my way, roost. Wait, oh, don't eat the blooming thing. Hey, chickies. I haven't had any foxes um, spawn in here. But I don't know if they just don't spawn. So I'm going to have to wait till spring. And if they spawn in this bit again. I'm going to have to move this entire thing. And make another one somewhere else. Because otherwise. That's really not good. That I've actually built something over top of a spawning area. For foxes. Because they're just going to kill my chickens. I don't know why I would move it though. So I'm thinking maybe up top there. Or maybe I will move it along here. But I, I have to be careful because I don't even know if I put like this on top of a bear spawner. That would be a pain, wouldn't it? How are we doing? Wait. Oh, hello. Oh. There's two. Hi. Oh, there's a third. Wow. Okay. I can't even know if that other one's a boar, though. Because you're both sows, aren't you? That one looks like a sow. Oh, I don't want to go in there because... That's, that's a little bit... Harder. So this area works then. I think they're all sounds because isn't the balls a slightly darker colour? I can't tell. But they're all frost. How is they all frost covered and you're all perfectly fine? Do we have any sheep sheep down below? Is is pregnant. Okay, so we've got some um, first gen piggies. Although you need to give me a ball. One of you need gives me a ball. Okay, well, they're all happy. I'm happy. This actually works. Yay! God, that sounded so fake, didn't it? I can't do enthusiasm, guys. It always sounds so sarcastic. Am I far away enough for you not to strike me? I, I don't like this layer of sticks. I collected so many sticks for this and I don't like it. I think the next one, if I'm willing, if I, I'm going to have to go to that biome. Yeah, I know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to finish up that bit in the middle of the ceiling. Maybe gather up, start gathering up some... Uh, chirp because I want a barn overlapping this or along this edge like this is the outline of it yeah and it's going to be mahusive yeah 
I may actually move the chickens at the top and then if there's a space for it oh, I'm gonna have to reinstall those animal cages aren't I I took them off because I got really frustrated with the fact that I can grab goats with them okay yeah that needs tidy and everything I don't know what to do if I have absolutely no idea I may have to you know take a look at some stair designs and yeah just see what I want because this doesn't feel right over here it just feels a bit plonked on well, that certainly needs tidying up and that that needs a something needs yeah here I feel like here needs a column because no right mind would there be stairs without any support right there so I'm gonna have to do that too yeah I got so much small stuff but I never really take a proper look at what I after I've built it and see how I go and traverse I barely use this room here I wanted to install the useful stuff mods um, for the welcome map so I could have this as a, like a traveling merchant bedroom but that um, mod hasn't been updated it's pretty much obsolete it doesn't get upkeep I mean the welcome mat used to be a standalone which is a shame they should have put that back as a standalone oh I missed you oh I missed some bits <laughs> see what I mean I don't pay attention all that well oh there's my hoe okay There we go, easy fix. Yeah, so, yeah, I really wish that welcome map mod for the travelling merchants would be a standalone again. Or if someone would have, because this, this hall feels empty. I want some traders in here or some sort of life other than just me in here. And I thought, you know, looking for a travelling trader mod would have been brilliant for this but there doesn't seem to be anything of the sort for that which is a real shame because that would have been perfect for that all right all right why do i still look to oh that's the butterfly pin huh all right Alright, well, catch you later. Bye-bye now.